Ever wondered what the world's most dangerous roads and railways are? From the icy, treacherous lanes of the Northern Hemisphere to the cliff-hugging tracks in remote corners of the globe, danger can lurk just around the bend. As we journey around the world, we'll encounter roads and railways where the margin for error is razor thin and where every turn can become a matter of life and death. These perilous paths are a stark reminder of the risks we often take in our quest for adventure and the importance of safety measures that can often mean the difference between a thrilling ride and a fatal accident. For some thrill-seekers, the danger is part of the allure, turning these hazardous routes into adrenaline-fueled challenges. But remember, these journeys are not for the faint-hearted. They demand respect, caution, and a healthy dose of courage. Now, brace yourself as we embark on a thrilling journey through the most dangerous roads and railways in the world. Starting our countdown, at number 5, we have the James Dalton Highway in the USA. This artery of adventure stretches over 400 miles through some of the most remote terrains in the world. Imagine a road where you might not encounter another soul for hours where the closest help could be a hundred miles away. For the daredevils, it's the ultimate challenge the ultimate test of man and machine against nature. The highway is a merciless beast that doesn't shy away from unleashing harsh weather conditions. With temperatures that can drop to minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, it's a road that freezes the brave and punishes the unprepared. Remember the famous Ice Road Truckers TV series? That's right, they battle this very highway. The lack of services along this route only adds to its reputation as a road that demands respect and preparation. Indeed, the James Dalton Highway is not for the faint-hearted. Next, we plunge into the Road of Death, the North Yungas Road in Bolivia, our number four. This perilous path, carved out of the Bolivian mountainside, is not for the faint-hearted. It's a narrow winding route often shrouded in thick blinding fog. With the steep cliffs on one side and a terrifying drop on the other, it's no wonder this road has earned its ominous nickname, the Death Road. The North Yungas Road is a stark contrast to the picturesque landscapes that surround it. It's a treacherous 69 kilometers of unpaved and barely single lane track. The road is so narrow that in some parts only one vehicle can pass at a time, making this a dangerous game of chicken. Imagine navigating this road with the potential of a head-on collision at every blind curve. Adding to the challenges, the region is often blanketed in fog and heavy rains, reducing visibility to near zero. The road becomes a slick, muddy track, making it nearly impossible to maintain traction and control. And let's not forget the cascading waterfalls that occasionally wash over the road, adding an extra layer of danger to an already perilous journey. But the most chilling aspect of the North Yungas Road is the sheer number of lives it claims each year. It's estimated that 200 to 300 travelers meet their untimely end here annually. Each cross and makeshift memorial dotting the roadside is a grim reminder of the lives lost on this precarious path. The North Yungas Road's reputation as the Death Road is not just a title, it's a warning, a cautionary tale of the dangers that lurk when man tries to carve a path through nature's domain. It's a testament to the human will to conquer the most challenging terrains, even at the cost of life itself. A chilling journey, the North Yungas Road is a grim reminder of how treacherous roads can be. As we continue our journey exploring the world's most dangerous roads, remember, these are not just routes, they're harrowing tales of survival, of man versus nature. Our countdown continues with the Guoliang Tunnel Road in China, an engineering marvel but a nightmare for drivers. Carved through the heart of a mountain, the Guoliang Tunnel Road is not for the faint-hearted. This road is a narrow, winding path hewn from the solid rock of China's Taihang Mountains. It's a surreal, one-of-a-kind journey with the mountains insides for walls and the sky as your ceiling. Yet, it's also a road where danger lurks at every turn. Measuring just 5 meters tall and 4 meters wide, the tunnel can barely accommodate two cars at once. The lack of guardrails or safety measures amplifies the risk, making it an adrenaline-pumping experience for drivers. 
Imagine driving along a narrow ledge, a sheer drop on one side and solid rock on the other. Now add in the unpredictable weather from thick fog to sudden rain and you've got the Guoliang Tunnel Road. The story behind its construction is as awe-inspiring as the road itself. In the 70s, the remote village of Guoliang was virtually cut off from the outside world. To change their fate, 13 villagers took it upon themselves to carve a road through the mountain armed with only hammers and chisels. They worked day and night for five long years, facing countless dangers until they finally completed this remarkable feat of human resilience. However, this road has seen its fair share of accidents. The perilous turns and steep cliffs have claimed numerous lives over the years. Despite the danger, it continues to draw visitors from around the world, enticed by the thrill of navigating one of the world's most dangerous roads. In the end, the Guoliang Tunnel Road serves as a stark reminder of the human spirit's incredible power and determination. It's a testament to the villagers who transformed their destiny with their bare hands, creating a path that's both a lifeline and a deadly challenge. The Guoliang Tunnel Road, a testament to human resilience and a treacherous path for those daring enough. Switching gears to railways, we arrive at Brazil's Ferrovia do Trigo, known for its deadly tunnels and bridges. As we delve into the heart of the Brazilian wilderness, Ferrovia do Trigo emerges, a chilling spectacle of danger and allure, a railway carved into the landscape. It stands as a testament to human ingenuity and audacity against nature's might. Yet, it's the very ingenuity that makes it a perilous journey. Ferrovia do Trigo, or the Wheat Railway, snakes through over 100 tunnels, the longest stretching for nearly two kilometers. These tunnels, dark, damp and unpredictable, are notorious for their instability. Debris and loose rock are not uncommon, and a lack of lighting makes navigation a game of roulette. The bridges, another crucial element of this railway, are a spectacle of their own. They arch over steep gorges, their structure rusted and aged, the weather-beaten materials groan under the weight of the trains, adding a symphony of unsettling sounds to the journey. The lack of guardrails brings the danger into sharp focus. One false move, one lost footing, and the abyss awaits. And yet, despite these hazards, or perhaps because of them, Ferrovia do Trigo has become a magnet for thrill-seekers. The adrenaline junkies, the daredevils, the ones who laugh in the face of danger, they all flock here. They come for the pulse-pounding journey, the rush of adrenaline that surges as the train skirts precarious edges and plunges into pitch-black tunnels. But let's not forget, this is not a roller coaster ride. There are no safety measures, no emergency stops, no guarantees of a safe return. It's a trip fraught with risk, where the line between thrill and peril is thin and often blurred. Ferrovia do Trigo, a thrilling yet deadly journey for the ultimate risk takers. This railway, with its dangerous tunnels, unstable bridges and lack of safety measures, is a testament to human daring, a monument to our thirst for adventure and a grim reminder of the price we sometimes pay for it. Finally, we reach the most dangerous railway in the world, the Death Railway in Thailand. This ominous title is no exaggeration, as it's a chilling testament to a dark time in history when human lives were sacrificed for the sake of warfare. The Death Railway takes its passengers on a perilous route, snaking its way through the dense, unforgiving jungles of Thailand and Myanmar. It's a journey that's as breathtaking as it is terrifying, with the tracks often precariously clinging to the side of steep cliffs and bridges arching over deep gorges. But the danger of this railway isn't confined to its precarious route alone. It's the railway's blood-stained history that gives it its truly fearsome reputation. Constructed during the throes of World War II, the Death Railway was born out of harsh conditions and brutal treatment of laborers. The Japanese Imperial Army, in a bid to support their troops in the Burma campaign, forced over 200,000 Allied prisoners of war and Asian laborers to construct this railway. Working in extreme conditions, with little food and no medical care, an estimated 100,000 lives were lost during its construction. Each sleeper laid on the track 
is said to represent a life lost, a chilling testament to the human cost of war. Even today, the death railway holds on to its dangerous reputation, while the trains that tread these tracks today are far safer than those of the past, the route still poses significant risks. Landslides triggered by heavy rains are common, causing track disruptions and posing a threat to the trains. Furthermore, the wooden viaducts built over 70 years ago creak ominously under the weight of the passing trains, reminding us of the railway's precarious existence. The Death Railway, a grim reminder of our past, stands as the most dangerous railway in the world. It's a journey that's not for the faint-hearted, a ride that takes you on a chilling trip down memory lane, reminding us of the sacrifices made and lives lost in the darkest corners of our history. So, there you have it, the most dangerous roads and railways known to man. We've traveled, in a manner of speaking, from the icy, treacherous terrains of the James Dalton Highway in the USA to the deadly heights and hairpin bends of North Yungas Road in Bolivia. From there, we journeyed through the heart-stopping Guoliang Tunnel Road in China and then to the perilous Ferrovia do Trigo in Brazil. Each of these routes is marked with its own set of dangers, from perilous drops to treacherous weather conditions, narrow paths and lack of safety measures. They serve as a stark reminder of the risks that some are willing to take and the importance of safety in travel. Our final stop was the Death Railway in Thailand, a grim testament to the price of thrill. Remember, thrill comes with a price and on these roads and railways, the price could be life itself. 